Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at the solution to this differential equation. So we have dy by dx equals xy plus 2x minus 2y minus 4. So I've mentioned at the top that this might be a separable differential equation. So let's recall, in order for this to be a separable differential equation, we need it to be the product of a function of x times a function of y. And at the moment, this is not a function of x times a function of y. But maybe we can manipulate this algebraically to get it into that form. So let's notice that as it's written right here, the first two terms and the last two terms both share a common factor. So the common factor on the first two terms is x, so we can factor that out. So now we have x times y plus 2. And then the common factor on the last two terms is negative 2. So we can factor negative 2 out. And notice that leaves us with y plus 2. And so that's good luck because now we can see that y plus 2 is a common factor of this x term and this minus 2 term. So we can factor that out of the whole thing. So we have this is x minus 2 times y plus 2. So I'll bring my dy by dx down, and now we can see that this is indeed a separable differential equation. So if we recall, the first step that we'll want to do is write all the x's on one side and all of the y's on the other side. So that'll give us dy over y plus 2 equals x minus 2 dx. Okay, good. So... From here, we can take the antiderivative of both sides. So we'll have the antiderivative dy over y plus 2 equals the antiderivative of x minus 2 dx. Okay, good. Now, taking the antiderivative, we can see that this is the natural log of y plus 2. And I'll leave off the absolute values, although generally you would want to include the absolute values, but there's a lot of um, subtle stuff that's going on here with the interval on which this converges, and you'd really want to look at that separately. And here we're just going for the um, simplest solution to this differential equation. So we have the natural log of y plus 2 equals 1 half x squared minus 2x plus our constant of integration c. Okay, good. So we can go ahead and solve for y. So we'll get y plus 2 equals e to the 1 half x squared minus 2x plus c. Okay, good. And this gives us e to the c times e to the 1 half x squared minus 2x using exponent rules. And finally, we can write y equals, and so we can replace e to the c with maybe a capital C. And then we have e to the 1 half x squared minus 2x minus 2. And that's our final answer.